Arr, I tell ya, I feel so youthful ever since I've been playing Cryptopia. I've been sailing the seven seas with my seamen. We've been hanging out on Treasure Island, hiding from bounty hunters and stealing booty. It's been great. I feel so youthful, I think I might even shave my beard with me cutlass. Hey, welcome to Cryptopia. Today's video is going to be on Cryptopia, an amazing new metaverse play to earn game like no other. We're going to take a deep dive into the pirates and bounty hunters aspect of the game, as well as talk about their peer-to-peer -peer gameplay and their nodes. Yes, I said nodes. If this sounds interesting, please stick around. So first of all, Swab, I'm not a financial advisor. These are my own personal thoughts and opinions on the market. I'm a pirate for God's sake. So do your own research and your own due diligence or I'll make you clean the poop deck or maybe even walk the plank. Arr. So just to recap, Cryptopia is a free-to-play and a play-to-earn metaverse strategy and role-playing game based on a reboot of society in response to the flaws of our current economic and social systems. So let's get into the fun part, the pirates and the bounty hunters of Cryptopia. So Treasure Island is the pirate's den. It's their safe haven, the same way Cryptopia City is every faction player's safe haven. So there will be different maps for Treasure Island that show where the treasures are, but the pirates will not have access to them. Only the players from the factions will have the ability to avail these resources. But the pirates are strongest around these areas and therefore will have a much higher chance of successfully looting you. When the pirates travel away from these areas closer to Cryptopia City, they'll become more vulnerable and have a higher chance of losing the treasures that they've stolen from you. So who are the pirates? Well, initially when Cryptopia launches, there won't be any pirates because the pirates are players that have committed a certain number of wrongdoings. And when the game launches, nobody will have done anything wrong yet. So you'll get to decide your own fate. So how it works is that when you attack another player in the Cryptopian Seas, you'll receive a negative karma point. And when enough negative karma is collected, only then will you be taken to Treasure Island to earn the role of a full-fledged pirate. Arr, I tell ya, I've been loving life ever since I started playing Cryptopia. I'm here on Treasure Island enjoying the booty, letting my semen run free. A pirate's life is for me. Arr. It's important to note that once you become a pirate, there is no turning back. You cannot return to your faction. This is permanent because the game state exists completely on the blockchain, making it irreversible. As a pirate, you'll have a handful of strategic options available. However, the main objective is to loot the resources that are being carried by other players and their ships. And once you've looted the resources, they'll be considered hot. This means that the resources are vulnerable to be taken away from you by bounty hunters. And who are the bounty hunters, you might ask? Well, the bounty hunters are players from any faction who want to receive the bounties that get set by the pirate's victims. After being looted by a pirate, the victim will be presented with an opportunity to place a bounty. The player will set the bounty on the pirate for a certain amount of CRT, the native in-game token. Multiple players can contribute to the bounty, and the amount of CRT needs to be attractive enough for another player to accept the job of hunting that pirate down. This can be considered a mini quest, and a cool one at that. So what happens when a pirate loots a player's resources? As a pirate, when you successfully make a loot, the first thing you'll receive are XP points. And then you're going to want to secure that loot because it's hot. In order to do that, you'll need to travel around at a distance away from Treasure Island to drop the hot meter. The more you move around and the further away you are from Treasure Island, the quicker the hot meter goes down. But this also means that you're in an unsafe territory because the bounty hunters can get you. After a number of moves, and if you've managed to evade all of the bounty hunters and you get the hot meter down to zero, you can then use the resources that you've looted. As I previously mentioned, a pirate will receive XP when they successfully make a loot. These XP points are used to upgrade your space. A pirate can upgrade their space in the exact same way a faction player can upgrade their charisma, luck, strength, or speed and use it to their advantage. I think this aspect of Cryptopia is truly amazing, and I am truly excited to play the Pirates and Bounty Hunters because I love pirates and I think that this aspect of the game will truly stand out on the blockchain. So let's talk about the player-run nodes. Since the entire game state of Cryptopia is on the blockchain, every event occurring during gameplay is maintained and registered in the blockchain, which can be slow and expensive. The workaround for this is to establish another type of connection for this feature. So in Cryptopia, a peer-to-peer -peer mesh network will be used to achieve this functionality. The network will be validated by player-run nodes, which people can run when they own a node license NFT. The node NFT will allow you to add your server to the mesh, just like a DNS. Arr, I'm just out to scavenge the open seas to get me some of them NFTs. 
As a node operator, your responsibility will be to stay online in order to relay the in-game messages. The players play an integral role in making sure this happens, and they get incentivized for being honest. The mechanics of this model in Cryptopia will be masked as a quest, integrating the gameplay to validate the network. Players will receive a quest with the objective of checking whether a node operator is online or not. If your vote aligns with the majority, then you get rewarded with CRT, the Cryptopia native token. 90% of the rewards will be distributed to the node operator, and 10% to the players. If the players don't choose to perform these quests, the rewards will stack up over time, which will eventually be attractive enough to get the players on board. So I think this is going to be an incredibly lucrative aspect of Cryptopia. Make sure you keep your eyes out for more information about the nodes. I'm personally going to try to buy one when they come out. Well, everyone, thanks for watching this video. I truly hope you found some value in it. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on that bell notification. And also, you're going to want to join our free Telegram and Discord. We have amazing opportunities as well as a great community. We'll leave a link in the description below. Have a great day, Cryptopians. Hey, it's Captain Crypto here. So it looks like we might be in a bear market. So for a little while, we might be living off of rum and coconuts, but that's okay. We'll be sailing the seven seas before you know it. And if we get lucky, we might even find some booty. So gather your semen and get ready to ride that board. Ah!